spacer over the six pipes and work it down until it fits snugly into the bucket. This will keep your pipes nicely aligned in the drying process. Also note that the mid spacer is cut out on the sides. That allows metal and resin to be continued to add, added at, then as it hardens it can be removed. We have removed the middle spacer and applied some tape to the top of the pipes so that no metal or resin gets into it. Once again, we'll be adding another layer of resin and metal. We put a few extra crystals in this layer. It's a good idea to settle it down with a stick as you move along. And we can use more resin still. It's best to pour in several layers rather than all at once. The reason for this is if the temperature of the curing resin gets too high, it will distort the shape of the bucket and may even melt it and cause the resin to flow out. If you pour in all one layer, pour a very cool mixture so that it doesn't get super hot very quickly. My suggestion would be about three or four layers of pouring allowing it to cure in between and that will keep from distorting the shape of your bucket. And we're going to let this resin layer cure and then pour one more on top of it. Now that this layer is cured we're going to add more metal still and fill to the top of the bucket. You can see why it was a good idea to tape the top of the pipes. Highly recommended. It's usually about this stage in the pour that if you're going to add any extras, it's a good time to. I usually add a little kyanite and a little selenite to keep the crystals nice and crisp. Some people add iron pyrite, some people add herbs, some people add stones. But for a basic cloud cluster working, all you really need is metal resin and crystals. Now it's time to put the five foot pieces into the pipe connectors. A 
little bit of sanding on the end of the pipe makes them fit into the connector much easier. And the last thing to do is to put the top spacer through the hole. Through the pipes through the hole of the top spacer. There we go. Set them in. And work the spacer down. To right about this position. And it can be glued in if need be. You can set containers of water in this space here to be charged. And after it dries, it can be removed from the bucket. Or you can leave it in the bucket, no difference. And this has been how to build a Don Croft Organite Cloud Buster. Thanks for the design, Don. To add to 